Howdy folks. So in my previous video about uh, moving my file server from one case to another, uh, I briefly mentioned, uh, if you even watched the whole thing, uh, I briefly mentioned um, these Molex to SATA adapters. And uh, I mentioned how they um, can uh, spontaneously burst into flames. And uh, uh, some of you had not heard of this, so I thought I'd elaborate a little bit and uh, sort of give you insight into what can actually happen and how to sort of protect yourself against this. So basically, um, long story short, um, these kind of Molex to SATA adapters, they're made in you know, vast quantities, very quickly, mass production. Um, they're not very high quality, generally speaking. I mean, there are high quality ones out there, uh, but it's difficult to tell what's high quality and what's not. Um, and of course, you know, well, the only way you can really tell is, you know, if it bursts into flames or not. But of course, if it's plugged into a hard drive with all your precious data on it, um, and it takes the drive down with it, well, that's not really, that's not something you ever want to have happen. So um, this is stuff that I've gathered. Um, this is information I've gathered from reading a lot of stuff online, as well as my own experience over the last, you know, decade and a half or so. Um, I've got a bunch of uh, adapters. I own a whole bunch of these, of course. You collect these things over the years. Um, and uh, I'll start out by saying, if you don't need one in a project, don't use one. If there's a way that you can get a, you know, get around it, uh, that's the best bet. But eventually, even the best of us, you know, have to use these. Uh, you're going to end up with a project where there's just no other way to connect uh, drive. So, um, you know, you have to resort to these things. And uh, I'll just go over um, what I've found to be the best things to look for in these if you have to purchase them. So uh, I'll start out by telling you what to look for. And this this particular type right here uh, is what you want to avoid. Um, and it's the type, uh, the, basically, first of all, the Molex end, um, you don't really have to worry about. You really can't screw up making this connector. It's such a simple, ancient connector. Uh, it's the SATA end that you have to look closely at. And this type right here, where you can see that the cables terminate uh, directly into the plastic molding, and uh, that's all very nice and clean, like the molding is, uh, the cables are part of the molding. This type uh, is generally the type that fails. So in contrast, um, the best type that I've seen is this. And I mean, it looks the same, but if you look at the actual end, you'll notice that it's, uh, it's not molded in one piece. The actual ends have pla uh, metal uh, collars on them that are then inserted into this plastic piece. And I have never seen one of this type fail, um, but that's just my experience. But uh, these seem to be safe. And I'll explain why I, I think that in just a moment. The other type um, that seems to be really uh, okay is the type where the actual cable goes through, this one's just a, a double adapter, uh, where the cable goes through the plastic. So there's actually, a, there's actually blades, metal blades inside here they, basically, they, they, uh, this is a, like a, a clamshell. It opens up. You put the cables in. You put the, push them through the blades so they cut through the insulation and make electrical contact. And then they uh, snap this end on. And uh, there's one on this end which has been terminated um, so you can't see the cables running through. These, these are OK. Uh, and this is the same, same deal where it goes through the actual plastic. And in this case, it's not terminated. So these are different designs. but. Um, these generally are also okay. I haven't seen these fail. Again, this is another double adapter, but this is one that I would avoid because it goes into the plastic molding. So what actually happens on these things is uh, the SATA end catches fire. And uh, the reason why I believe this happens um, is basically what they do is they put the cables into the actual, um, they put all the pins in the, the cables into the uh, the mold, the injection mold, and then they uh, inject the plastic. And then you know it molds this all together into one nice piece. But the thing is, um, these cables, the inside, they can move around during this molding process. And what I think happens is the cables um, in some moldings um, sort of drift really close to each other. And through use, um, they will actually 
arc across. The, the distance between these is, is, is actually such that they'll arc across. And an arc, electrical arc is incredibly hot. So it'll melt the plastic in that vicinity, which will cause them to move closer together. And then uh, that'll create an even more intense arc. And it'll um, basically, if the cables like completely touch each other and they you know make a really good contact, hopefully the overcurrent protection and the power supply will kick in and it'll kill uh, the computer. However, um, in a lot of cases, uh, due to you know the, the plastic in there that's burning, um, it won't make a really good contact and it'll continue to arc and this whole thing will catch fire. Um, that I've, I've seen this, uh, maybe I'll inset some pictures um, of, of what of this happening because it's it's actually I don't want to say it's a common thing but it's a thing that's not just like a, a random fluke it, it seems that it's these adapters um, that do this uh, a lot more than you know random failures and it's always this style the reason why this style I don't think does that is because this is a, a hard plastic that's that's molded separately so the pins and the uh, the actual uh, metal contact inside here they're actually set in a jig and then that's molded together and then the wires are simply um, you know they have the little metal insert and they're just poked in after the fact so they they're you know they're properly spaced and even there's little plastic um, spacers between these to prevent them from touching each other um, in this end and uh, you have to just sort of assume that uh, you know everything in the connector, deep in the connector, is done correctly. But these appear to be um, a better, just generally a better, uh, a better connector. Um, they don't look as nice, they don't feel as nice, but um, they seem to be more reliable. Again, same thing with these ones uh, because it because you know they they have the blades in them, and this snaps on the back. It's it's made first, and then they put the cable in afterwards. And these seem to be better. But uh, yeah, um, I, 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 I don't know how many people are aware of this, but uh, yeah, I, I've, I've seen it myself and it's, uh, it, just, it just happens randomly. I mean, I don't know what exactly causes them to start arcing uh, because it's not like, you know, you just assemble the machine and then it immediately fails. It's usually like a couple months later that it happens and I'm not sure what process... Um, makes it take that long because I would assume you know it would just happen immediately after you apply power but apparently that's not the case so um, if anyone knows what's what actually goes on in these uh, it's kind of difficult of course to tell because um, you know it's it'll be a charred mess you know once you've figured out it's one of those bad ones um, so yeah I might I might actually uh, sacrifice one of my adapters um, to see what's inside, but I, I'm not quite sure how I'd actually get this open uh, and still be able to see inside it. I, I don't really have a, a way of sort of dissolving the plastic, so um, I'm not sure about that, but maybe maybe I'll think of something. But anyway, so yeah, that's, that's generally uh, all I think you need to know about these things. Avoid them if you can, but look for the ones that seem to be made before the cable goes in, because they seem to be uh, they seem to be the okay ones. It's the m all all molded into one piece ones that seem to be kind of scary. So anyway, hopefully that was uh, interesting. Thanks for watching.